hello everyone and welcome to the full stack project youtube channel today i will show you how you can connect your namecheap domain with your virtual project first of all you have to go to the namecheap.com and get your preferred domain name and you also can directly buy it from virtual but it's bit expensive for the first year most of the domains in virtual are you know uncommon domains are like 20 dollars but if you go to namecheap this is not a sponsored video at all so if you buy it from namecheap you can get your first year for a very small amount after getting your domain from namecheap you can see your domain in your dashboard so keeping this aside let's go to the virtual dashboard from the virtual dashboard select your project and then in the settings you can go to the domain section so in the domain section you can have you can see the current domain you have it which which was given by virtual and to add your domain you can type the purchase domain that you have in this field here after adding your domain you get this pop-up and it has different ways where you can add your domain so i'm going with the recommended way and uh, clicking add when adding your domain name don't add www.part just add your domain name as example here lanka.com there are mainly two methods that we can configure our domain to use versal one is adding a record or a c name record and the next one is changing the name servers the versal's recommended way is going with adding a, a record or a c name record so let's go with that approach first first copy the a record value the versal has given us then you can go to namecheap dashboard and in there you can find your domain name and you have to click manage and inside advanced dns section you can add your records so here we are going to add an a record here you can see a list of a records and cname records that have added in my domain and to add a new record you have to click add new record here and then select a record and in the host you can see in the virtual they have given at as the host so you can add at here and then copy uh, the paste the copied value that as the IP address from the versal. Also, you can add two other records. One is a wildcard record and one with the host name www. And you can add the same value as the previous one which was given by the versal. And also set the TTL value to default as automatic. And the same steps can be followed to add a CNAME record so in the dashboard instead of an a name record you can select from the drop down a c name record and add the given values the name as www and the value is the given value from the uh, version if you want to go with the name service approach instead of adding an A record or a C name record, you have to enable name servers by clicking this enable DNS button. After that, you can copy these name server values in here and then move to your Namecheap dashboard. In the domain section, you can see this name servers button and here you can add your new name servers. Click the drop down and click custom DNS and here you can paste this given name servers in these two lines so if you have if you want to add more name servers you can click add name server and do that and after that don't forget to click this tick button here and save your new custom DNS settings after everything is done you may have to wait for around 15 to 20 minutes to make your domains visible properly in your virtual project if you like this kind of full stack development content make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and let's meet with another awesome tutorial like this have a nice day